Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Uh -huh. So, before we start this video, let me just address this. I know I mix up some of the characters and their names. I might not call them by the correct name or whatnot. I'm human too, you know. I make mistakes. And some of you guys be bashing like you guys get triggered over this. And then there are others, some of you guys, that actually help me out. Like, you guys are all like, oh, it's fine if you get the names wrong and you guys give me information. Thank you guys so much for your patience. Huge shout out to you guys. All right, so with that being said, we're going to be reacting to more Soldier Fallout because you guys actually asked for more of this. So here we are today. We're here on Wattpad. Now, this is uh, the website where uh, Connor, the creator of Soldier Fallout, he uploads like the the readings to sort of fall out so there's actually like a little storyline to this where you can actually read so as we see there's a table of contents and it has about what two four six eight nine it has about nine chapters if we were to call them chapters per se so that's pretty interesting uh there are different dates on here they're all based on the same year i'm not too sure what each chapter consists of maybe it had like title to the chapter next to the dates marked or maybe i'm just bugging man i don't know and maybe i could read these if you guys like i could make a video uh reading each chapter you guys want me to do that i don't know let me know in the comments down below let's read this little prologue whatever it is so you guys can get an idea of what Soder fallout myself too the year is 1973 life is normal on the island of Soder. contracts were being made and buildings were being built a nuclear power plant on the brand dam have been built but after that oh man all right that sounds a bit chaotic man i don't know Sounds like something went down on Soda Island. All right, so with that being said, we are on a Connor's channel and we're going to be reacting to the Brandon Bass Blade Soda Fallout official July 4th, 1973. We were all at Wellsworth when it happened and heard a loud explosion. The sky went dark and this huge cloud was visible in the distance. Charlie and I knew exactly where that came from and we knew that we had to go. Okay. Oh man, that's explosion! Yo! Oh my god, the crowd in the background screaming. People cleared the platform faster than I had ever seen before. We knew the shockwave would have been coming fast, so we alerted the guard and luckily he had seen what we saw. He blew his whistle and we released the brakes, hit the regulator and pulled the whistle for dear life. Uh, thank god he was, because without him we would have been killed. We sped down the line at speeds we've never gone before. Alright, so there they go, they're zooming out of there, man. We passed Donald, who was heading the opposite way, pulling slow goods. We found out later that he didn't make it out alive, and neither did William or Colin in his cab. Dude, that is so messed up. Edward was probably uh, the most horrified out of all of us, and I didn't blame him. While we all had some layer protection, he didn't, so that probably motivated him to go faster. Jeez, there's so much going on, dude. So hectic. We shot past Crosby, and uh, that's when the shockwave hit us. And Jesus, it was strong. Dude, I'm even getting nervous for these trains. Oh. Okay, so there was a, that must have been the shockwave and the explosion. It caused the glass in the carriages to shatter and rock them to side, side to side. Edward's front pony truck uh, also derailed on the points because of it. But those things didn't stop us. We could feel the heat rising. We didn't stop until we got to Knapford. Alright, yeah, I can't imagine how like the shockwave and all that. That must have been terrible, bro. Luckily, we made it safely and huddled everyone in the station buildings and offices. We heard on the radio that the entirety of Brandon was hit by the explosion and the death toll was unknown. I hope to, uh, I hope to God Leonard got out of there alive, but that is a slim chance. <laughs> Alright, so we can hear like the people in the back. Some sort of radio? Trying to get signal or something? Good evening, I'm Dr. Stuart Bailey. I work for the Atomic Energy Authority. I've worked for the AEE for 10 years. 
three of which I spent at AEE Winfrith near Dorset. I am joined by my colleagues, Dr. Middleton and Dr. Dalby, both of which are my junior. At about 2.30 this afternoon, that's July 4th, the power station at Lower Brendam suffered a widespread system failure. Of four reactors online, only one is currently operating. The plant is currently running on backup power with staff attempting to remedy the problem. The amount of radiation vented, or if radiation has been vented at all, is currently unknown. That's not good. Teams from the Atomic Energy Authority have been dispatched to Lower Brendam to take radiation readings. We urge the citizens of Western Sodor to stay in their homes until the state of emergency is lifted or an order to evacuate is given. Uh, thank you. Dude, the radiation is out there. That's not good for the citizens, man. They could become mutated, all that stuff. Now imagine the trains. <laughs> Where do the trains get mutated too? I don't know, man. I'm just going off my thoughts, you know. It's been almost six hours in this damn station and no one's received any word on whether or not it's safe to go out yet. I've been feeling so much guilt over leaving Edward out in the station like that. I hope to God he's all right. Oh, poor Edward. Hopefully he'll make it out. Safe and sound. All right, that was it. Wait, wait. Okay, so it. Okay, what was that ending about? I heard like the train pull up and then the whistle. I don't recognize. I'm pretty sure every train has a unique whistle. I don't know who. Maybe it was Edward. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm reaching. Let me know down in the comments below. All right, you guys. Well, that was the Brandon Bay Blast sort of fallout. If you guys want me to react to more videos, let me know in the comments down below. You know what to do. Smash like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And a uh, shout out to uh, Connor. The creator of Soda Fallout for making this uh, awesome little side cool series. I guess you would call it whatever you want to call it. Shout out to him, man. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the basic support as always. And I will see you on the next one. <laughs>